Hello everyone, um, today I'm going to actually go over uh, a bit of the firearms that we've been working on in Revolution X in a sort of devlog style format, um, explain a bunch of things, um, kind of go through the inner workings of it, and uh, yeah, hope you enjoy. Uh, anyways, I'll just start off real quick here. Um, we're going to have four different style of firearms inside Revolution X. That would be the pistol here, uh, the kinetic accelerator, the shotgun, and the coil gun. Um, now, for this entire devlog and everything, do not pay attention to any of the models um, or any of the visual elements. Um, we haven't done a visual pass yet. Um, and this is just the prototyping scene, um, seeing how things feel, all the strict gameplay elements. Um, so, as you'll notice on each weapon, you can see here this current fire mode, we'll have uh, two various upgrades for uh, a firearm. So, in that case, there's an upgrade A and an upgrade B. Um, this pistol here is uh, the starter pistol. Um, we actually want it to be a ricochet weapon. And so now, one of the reasons why we're doing uh, a lot less firearms than we were doing before is we want them to be very um, polished, very individualized, kind of solid um, frameworks, um, nothing too janky or anything, super fun to play with and also of course since we're going for more of fast based uh, combat now, um, we want it to be super solidified and uh, able to do such combat. Um, so this, as I mentioned before, is a ricochet weapon. Uh, as you can see when I fire it here, let's take a quick pause. So. Um, this red line is basically the trajectory of the bullet. Um, that's calculated on fire, um, just straight off the muzzle of the weapon. Uh, it calculates the reflection angle and all that jazz. So basically the bullet uh, on fire, it has a predetermined path um, from uh, raycasts. <clears throat> now, doing it this way, um, you might be thinking, well, let's say an enemy moves and this uh, this bullet um, has this predetermined path, but the, the enemy isn't there anymore. Um, and that is a completely solid uh, argument. Um, that's one of the disadvantages of doing it this way, rather than having a, a, f uh, a rigid body game object just bouncing off of surfaces, right? Um, but also doing it this way, uh, the reason why I chose it to do this uh, this way as well is um, one of the reasons... Um, is just because the bullet is going to be going so fast, so we don't need a physical game object. Um, I found in testing it was perfectly fine. Uh, there's also variable speed uh, that I can add to this. Um, not that you couldn't uh, with just a rigid body, but um, basically I can control each speed, uh, the bullet's like path, like the speed throughout the entire um, uh, path that it takes. So let, for example, um, this one line here, this first red line, or well, it's a bit hard to see, but let's just say this line. Let's go frame by frame. So as you can see, the bullet is traveling at this certain speed, right? Now you see how it gained acceleration or velocity on that second path and how it jumped a lot more. So I can control each individual um, kind of path that the bullet takes and its exact speed in that moment. Um, I just like the control that uh, this method gives you over the entire bullet's path. Um, and not to mention, uh, for uh, an upgrade A or an upgrade B here on the bullet, um, on the pistol, sorry, uh, the bullet actually becomes either a trigger or a collider towards enemies, so that way it can either pass through enemies or it can ricochet off of enemies. Um, and so just uh, having this separate bullet game object as the collision detector, uh, just as a trigger or as a, um, or not, uh, it just, it, it allows for a bunch more um, control over the bullet, essentially. Um, now, as you can see, this, uh, this gray liner under here is the actual bullet and the path that it's followed, and the red line is just the, the path that the bullet will follow. So if we go ahead and unpause that here, uh, you can kind of see a bit of that action. Let me just go ahead and fire off all the remaining rounds. And you can see all the calculations and all the bullets traveling. Um, now, one decision we decided to, to, to do as well because of the fast-paced uh, combat is um, actually not allowing the user to interact with the slide. Um, and so that was done purely out of um, just fast uh, paced combat and more kind of uh, less jank. Um, 
we just found in playtesting that having to pull the slide back to chamber in around uh, every time was though very realistic um, for the style of combat and the scenarios that we want to impl implement um, it just wouldn't fit uh, with our, our combat style so instead of sliding the 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 slide back with your hand all you do now uh, is going to be like um, point it down at the ground and it will do a little reload action such as that uh, and then you can see here current ammo max ammo uh, it already has a round in the chamber as well which we can see uh, here um, so now all the visual bullets as well as you can see this is a visual bullet is what I like to call it um, this is a all these are pooled Right now, as it stands, um, all the bullet game objects that do the collision detection, at least for this ricochet bullet, um, or ricochet pistol, sorry, uh, are just instantiated at runtime. I can easily do a pool after that, but um, of course, this is just uh, demonstration purposes. But yeah, basically, in the future, all the bullets will be pooled that way, you know, no more uh, garbage uh, collection and stuff at runtime. Um, <clears throat> what else here? Yeah, visual bullets. As you can see there, uh, they just uh, do what they did before, go out the, the exit of the, the gun's chamber here and go on the ground. They're just, um, they'll become a, as you can see, they're not a trigger here. They'll just be a rigid body element. So that, that's the pistol. That's kind of the basics of the firearms. Um, now what you will notice here is that there's some firearms without uh, a slide even. And so this is a, one example of a coil gun. Uh, this more simpler example is the kinetic accelerator. Um, this weapon will actually uh, launch you back upon firing. So this one, we want to be um, one of the more heavy weapons. So it has like a, a really high delay um, between firing. And it'll actually launch your player backwards. Um, that's another good element of using a full rigid body character um, with configurable joints and everything. It allows you to, to kind of... Um, add a bunch more presence into the game that you wouldn't have thought of before. So yeah, this this gun will launch you back on fire. Uh, the fire there, it's just a basic ray cast. Um, nothing too fancy with this gun, uh, except for the launching back. Now you can't see the launching back because the player isn't actually holding the weapon. Um, but you will see that when, uh, when it is fired. But other than that, this is just your simple um, point and shoot gun. Super heavy does a lot of damage, um, but it's a uh, one and done kind of thing for a bit. Um, the other non slide weapon is actually the coil gun. This is very similar to the Kinect Accelerator, except for the fact that it has certain upgrades. So now I don't know if you saw that, um, but that was actually a grenade that fired off the weapon because this is currently in upgrade A fire mode. Uh, the base fire is very similar to the Kinect Accelerator over here, except for the fact that it doesn't push the player back. Uh, this coil gun. Um, we'll just shoot like any other weapon. It's, it's a coil gun. Um, upgrade A, as you can see here, this is actually a grenade, so just like that. Now let me actually uh, make some spheres for you guys here. Uh, I should have done this beforehand, but um, you'll be able to see just what this does in a moment. So let me just uh, take this guy here, I'll duplicate it. Very inefficient to be doing this at runtime, but for the sake of demonstration. Um, <clears throat> okay, so now if we go ahead to the core gun and we launch off the projectile, boom, as you can see, it adds an explosion force to any um, rigid bodies or colliders around it. Um, so as you can see there, that's going to be a, a kind of grenade projectile that it'll launch out of there. Um, as well as the, the base fire mode that it has, which is just the simple, you know, fire like the Kinect Accelerator. There's no debug line for this one at the moment, but, um, yeah, there's no, uh, there's no grenade there, but then there will be a grenade here. Uh, I think that'll be a really interesting mechanic, almost like a grenade launcher, but, um, in a coil gun format. Um, so that's these two non-slide weapons and, uh, this one pistol here, um, Let's move on to the shotgun. This is one of my favorite weapons uh, that I've done so far. It has a slide, but yet again, you can't interact with it. Um, you'll notice here when I fire it, boom. No, let's just pause this real quick. So there's a lot of stuff just happened there. Um, essentially, uh, it fires off a bunch of different rays off of the muzzle of the gun um, at randomized uh, directions. Um, but you can specify how many pellets there are, as you can see here. 
Uh, if I wanted um, to have a bit more pellets, I could go to, let's say, 38. As you can see, there's a lot more rays there. Um, you can also change the spread. And now it'll be a, a lot wider of a fire. I don't know if you can tell. Let me just crank it for demonstration. Yeah. So it's a, it's a lot wider of a spread as you can see. Uh, you can change all those values, but uh, most importantly you'll notice with the, the shotgun as well is the slide action. Oh, so it just need to reload it there. But as you can see, the slide moves really slow, um, so that's going to be kind of a mitigator from you just spamming the shotgun. Um, it still allows you for really fast-paced combat. You don't have to worry about grabbing the slide or anything, but it moves a bit slower, um, and it won't let you fire until it's fully done. Um, right, so now this is when it's kind of uh, unloaded here, and you can go ahead and reload it just like that. Now with the shotgun, what's cool is there's also upgrades with this guy as well. Um, Upgrade A, I believe. Yep, okay. So this one, it's a bit harder to see because there's no visuals for it at the moment. Um, but what this actually does is this is uh, going to be like our plasma grenade disc. Um, so right now it's just purely the kind of workings of it. So that's why you'll see here just this little purple... I don't even know what this is. Uh, I just picked a random mesh. But anyway, um, what this does is it'll basically go back and forth, almost like a boomerang. Um, and if I just go frame by frame here, really slowly, just to show you guys, um, this will travel, it'll do damage to enemies, um, it's just a trigger as well. So when it collides with enemies and stuff, it'll uh, either go through them or it'll collide off of them, <coughs> and it'll do damage. But when it hits a, a surface, like it's about to here, just give it a moment, gotta go frame by frame. <laughs> um, it'll actually bounce off and return to the uh, the muzzle of the gun again. So think of it like a boomerang style um, projectile. Oh, we're getting close here. Yeah, think of it like a boomerang style projectile. You'll notice, yep, just there. So it uh, the distance between the wall got to a certain threshold, and now it's returned to the gun at, a, at an increased velocity, uh, just like that. And it'll just return shit to there. Try to show that the best I could, but yeah, without visual, it's a little tough. But um, yeah, so that'll be a really cool mechanic as well uh, to pl to play around with. Um, that's the shotgun. There's also upgrade Bs for all these weapons. So for the pistol, upgrade B would be um, just uh, I think if I'm not mistaken, I don't have the dock pulled up here. Um, I'll also post the dock on the Discord uh, as well because I think it's a uh, just a just a rough outline for you guys to to have some basis is on. Um, yeah, upgrade B just goes through enemies. Upgrade A bounces off enemies and does damage. Base fire, um, just the second it collides with an enemy, it destroys the bullet. Um, kinetic accelerator doesn't actually have any upgrades, it's just base fire. The shotgun, upgrade A, as we just saw, the disc. Um, upgrade B is actually a shield um, that comes up uh, on this uh, the muzzle of the gun there, and it actually blocks enemy attacks. Um, I won't show you that right now uh, because it's not fully. Uh, it's it's hard to demonstrate it with uh, without an enemies, um, and I'm working on enemies here, uh, as you can see. But uh, I'll show that off in a future video. Um, anyways, uh, coil gun um, upgrade A is just your um, your uh, grenade. Boom, that guy. Um, and upgrade B is actually a kind of time slowing device but yet again it's hard to show off without an enemy so yeah um that's just a oh wow 14 minutes um i might have rambled on a bit there um i'm not the greatest with words so if you had a little bit of trouble understanding um then i don't blame you um but hopefully i gave you a, a good idea of uh what firearms are going to be like in revolution nix and also a good look at the innards of um of how the firearms work. Uh, thank you guys for watching if you watched this far, and I'll see you all in the next devlog.